Yo, yo, what's up, YouTube? This is Yuri, and today I got a new video for you guys. And basically, today I'm gonna use this simple advanced WordPress starter theme that I made for you guys basically to kickstart your WordPress advanced uh, setup. All right, so I'm just gonna go into that folder and I'm just gonna show you how to actually do that. But just let's actually start. So, first of all, download your the code. All right, I already have it downloaded before. Make sure to download your Node.js. This is gonna be used through the development environment. This is not gonna be used for production at all. Just bear that in mind, all right? Of course, install that. And it's basically just gonna press next, next, next. So there's nothing really uh, exciting about that. So I'm just gonna skip that. Also, make sure to install Visual Studio Code, of course. And one last thing, Chrome extension. That is going to be, if you're using Chrome, of course, use uh, this extension. If you're using Firefox, it's going to be the same extension. It's called Live Reload as well. I'm going to put the link in the description. All right. So just make sure to have all of these installed. Close all of this, all right? And uh, basically, right now, go into wherever you downloaded that theme. Extract that. Copy that. Of course, I already have that installed and everything. But I'm just showing you this for demonst demonstration purposes, all right? So we're going to go into exam htdocs, WordPress, and then WordPress content themes. And if you guys don't know how to actually set up uh, like a theme until now, should check out my beginner playlist theme uh, which we start from scratch using like a simple bootstrap 5 template and we get started from there basically so just make sure to know some like basic WordPress uh, information and like before actually heading into this tutorial all right all right and just ext extract your advanced WordPress theme over here go into your visual studio code go wherever you installed that so just open the folder or simply instead of just doing all of this you can right click the, the, the file itself and just open with code of course i already have everything installed just to make this video simpler and uh, just how to actually set this up all right so actually after you have everything installed you're not gonna have this node modules folder and that is fine so all you really need to do is just clear, make sure just you have npm installed, all right? So let me just show you that command. So npm and then v, all right? And also make sure just your node is installed. So again, that's going to be node v, all right? And one last thing that is going to be, because I use yarn, you can use npm if you want. These are both package package managers just for Node, all right? Which is a JavaScript runtime environment. If you don't really know that, again, we're not gonna use this except just for development. Then in production, we're not gonna use this at all. So just make sure to npm global install globally yarn, all right? Clear yarn install, all right? And I already have my Node models installed before. Clear. And let me just show you the models that we're using. These are basically just gulp files and we're using browser sync and live reload, all right? So to actually set this up and start using this, just make sure to go into wherever you installed your WordPress and just go into your WordPress admin, login, and then just activate the theme, all right? So just go into appearance, themes, and just make sure to select the advanced WordPress development environment here, all right? Then just go into, actually do not go to any link. That's gonna be opened automatically for you just in a few moments, all right? So let me just close these files, all right? We don't really need this explorer anymore, all right? The debug console, everything, I don't really need any of this. All I really need right now is the terminal. All right, let me close this package.json, go to the files. Right. Just make sure you're in this, the theme and open up another terminal. Just make sure split the terminal. Open up another PowerShell or like a CMD, whatever you want. 
in one of these just start the project by using gulp but before doing that just start the live reload server and basically what we're doing is we're doing a proxy server all right using live reload and go so basically on live reload on port uh, 35,729 basically this is the default port for live reload this is where the live reload server is going to be doing all the magic and inside our gulp file we're also syncing with that with the css as you can see of course we're using style sheets super style sheets for this tutorial so we're compiling super style sheets into cascading style sheets we can also compile javascript we can also whenever we save any of these files so if we save the php file we save the javascript file we save the css files which are all in the source folder and the php of course is in the root folder with something called webpack.config we can compile this into this and basically this format this is like a cascading style sheet so that would work with wordpress and of course the javascript of course is compiled as well in a format that works with wordpress you can also use your regular javascript if you'd like but again this is just to have a better workflow so inside our styles let's say for example let's actually start the server to show you what you can do with this so gulp and let's press enter on node live reload so you're going to find out that live reload will start over here same thing in the gulp file and as you can see it's just showing us a warning that uh, just make sure to check out if it's like a development or like a production environment just make sure to actually show that if you want to do that all right so let's actually go into my styles.css and let's change something all right let's change the color of the body to green for example again make sure you have the chrome extension installed live reload and enable it all right so it has to be kind of like a, on chrome it's going to be green and on Firefox, uh, it's gonna show you like uh, it's enabled. It's not gonna show you it's green, but it's gonna show you that uh, it is enabled. As you can see, Live Reload is connected. So if I do it on uh, like Firefox or Chrome, let's just change the, this is gonna be the body, right? So we don't wanna change the color of the body. Let's change the color of the header one. Let's make that into green. Let's save that. All right, so as you can see on both, it's refreshing and it's basically just showing us the styles directory. Again, same thing is going to be in the JavaScript file. So if we change the JavaScript file, again, it's going to refresh and show us the changes to the JavaScript files in the distribution. All right. So we can just remove these for now. I don't really need them. And finally, we can also, when we save that index.php, we can just refresh that so if i remove this it's gonna and press ctrl s of course just make sure to save the page it's gonna allow you to just directly save that kind of like a react development environment all right so this is basically how you set up the guys the advanced wordpress theme starter if you guys want another video on how to set up goal a like step by step from scratch but that would take a long time because, of course, setting up like a WordPress theme from scratch takes a little bit of time. So I don't want to waste your guys' time. But if you want me to talk about this file more, I can do. And basically, it's just we're doing, like like I said, a proxy server over here just to watch for the changes and compile that. And as well, at the same time, do live reload while we do that. So that is the advanced WordPress theme starter you guys can check out and we're going to be using this on the tutorial. So I'll see you guys in the next video. This was Angu with you and peace you guys.